Okay, welcome back everyone. I just wanted to go through something with the Insta360. Um, this fantastic little action camera. I had a problem with it with in terms of getting the files off. I thought it was really cumbersome and I couldn't understand why. I was being a bit of an idiot, <laughs> sort of, but also it wasn't very friendly. Um, so I want to tell you how I did it so that you don't make the same mistake. And this only really relates to a Mac. Um, and I think the reason it relates to a Mac is because the new Macs are all USB-C connections, which is fantastic. Um, and you'd think that being a USB-C connection onto there, you could just connect cable to cable and away you go. And it doesn't work that way at all. I plugged this in on a USB-C to C cable because that's the only ports that I have on my Mac and I can't see this device at all. I thought that was just me. It's not. Um, you have to use their cable that was provided, although I have another cable that works as well, but it has to be a USA, USB-C A connection. Um, so I've had to get a little adapter that converts the USB, can you see that? USB CA connector to a USB-C connector. And when I do that, it works absolutely perfectly. So if I plug that in now, we'll see that it's gonna say, can you see that on the screen? Connect, so we're gonna connect. And then in a second or two, there you go, USB mode. That's now gone into USB mode. If we go over to here, we can now see the Insta360 Go. We've got the DCM and we've got the files into there. The other thing that I've noticed is before I was downloading them onto my phone or I was airdropping them across, whichever, um, really cumbersome way of doing it, hated it. Um, it just, workflow was horrible. But what this does do is it changed the file names um, for you when you did this method. It's not that way when it's stored onto there. So you effectively have got two copies of every file. One is the Insta information and one's the movie. I don't quite know the technicality behind it. But now you can just drag and drop that into there. So it's just importing the files. But whereas I have 21 files onto there, it's imported 11 files and we've got various bits into that. Obviously the vid doesn't have, if it's just done in standard video mode, it doesn't have two files because it's just a standard video file that you can do whatever with. It's in the perfect format. It's ready to rock and roll. You can do that. The other formats actually come out in the Insta360 format in the round format that we see here. And that's because you can do stuff with it in software. You've got all the extras to it. We can do that in Final Cut as well. We'll come on to that another day. Um, but the app allows you to go through, find one of those files and change whatever format and settings that you want. And I think that's fantastic. I love that flexibility of being able to change whatever format I want whenever I want. So let's go back to 16.9 because it's recorded in that 360 mode. But that makes it a lot easier. I can now export from here, drag and drop it into there, export the files all on my laptop without worrying about it. I know PC people aren't gonna have this problem because most PCs have got USB-A connectors. I just don't have that on a Mac. Um, and I don't know why I can't just use a USB-C cable. Go figure. But I hope that's helped. I hope that's helped you figure out why it's not working. Um, see you on the next one.